It has been a hot minute since I've done one of these, but I'm gonna be doing a nail set using the new collection from Madame Glam. I am so late on this. I feel like I have just fallen so behind on so much, yet my mind is blank when I'm thinking like, what do I need to do? I'm sure you guys have seen this collection from Madame Glam and I am so sad that it has taken me so long to do this because I love this collection so much so much and you know what i'm gonna be honest i've been in a creative funk lately when it comes to nails and i think that is a big reason why it's taken me so long because i just don't know what to do i really don't and i hate feeling like i don't do madame glam justice because their gels and their colors are just so pretty that i feel like they just deserve the best and i don't know how to give it to them right now but i'm just gonna do something Pretty simple today, I think. I don't know what I wanna do. I haven't even done like a Halloween set, I don't believe. Like, I feel so rusty. So we will see how this goes. Madame Glam did send me the entire collection. So Madame Glam, thank you so, so much. I can't ever express how grateful I am that you guys work with me, continue to work with me. So thank you so much. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so here is the House of Mystery collection. And it comes with eight gels. We have two new formulas. These are tortoise shell no white top coats. Obsessed. I've never done tortoise nails before, so that definitely inspires me to do so. And then these are the cream formulas. Definitely my fave with this coming in second, witching hour, and then shadows. So pretty, but they are all gorgeous. So let's figure out what we're gonna do. I love this color witching hour and shadows. So I think I'm definitely gonna figure out a way to incorporate these two. I'm kind of thinking of doing like, how about we bust out a sponge and we do witching hour in the middle. And do kind of like an aura. And then we will do witching hour. I mean, this is shadows and we'll do shadows around it. So let's do this on the thumb here and see how this looks. Okay, that was a fail. <laughs> so let's try this instead. I've told you guys, I am so rusty. It's been such a long time since I've sat down and just uh, did nails. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint the entire nail with Witching Hour. Oh shoot, I am so, uh, I am such a mess right now, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna paint this whole nail with Witching Hour. Isn't this such a pretty color? I don't even know how to explain it, it's like a muted red. Do that for 30 seconds. Now I'm going to take an eyeshadow applicator, one of these. I'm gonna put shadows on the side here, and then I'm going to blend it out on the edges here. We build up the pigmentation. I'm gonna keep doing that until I like the opacity of shadows. Okay, I'm just kidding. I figured out what exactly, how I wanna do this. Ugh, okay. This time I'm gonna go in with shadows first. I feel like this would be a much easier way. I am so rusty, you guys. I'm gonna do two coats of this. For the third time, I'm gonna use this one to get that aura effect in the middle this time. I am curing and then going over to build the opacity. So I'm gonna do this a couple more times. Okay, so I think I'm going to 
paint these two here with just the color shadows. And then I'm going to do these other two the same way I did with these. Okay, this is where I am so far. I just went through a bunch of my stuff and I'm just gonna throw a bunch of charms and stuff on here because I don't know what else to do right now. But I just pulled a bunch and I'm just gonna like literally do something different on each nail. So I pulled out some chains. I've got some rhinestones, which these are like my favorite color. I have a spider and a web. I decided to use like an ugly spider, not like one that has like a rhinestone or anything on it. Then I have this black cat. I have a frame, I've got some flowers. I kind of want to incorporate this gravel in it maybe. And then I just pulled out a bunch of flowers here in case I decide I want to like add more flowers. Like these red ones are very pretty. So we shall see. I think the easiest thing to start with is obviously the thumb because it's the biggest. So I'll have more space to work with. I'm thinking about putting the cat on here because this piece is pretty big. So I'm gonna start out with that. And I just have my glue from McCart. I'm gonna put it right here in the middle. And then cure this for 60 seconds. Actually, I'm also gonna go in and place some top coat right on top of that. It's just a random top coat I had laying around. It's from Joss Love. <clears throat> it's almost gone, just trying to use it up. Okay, I think I kinda wanna take this black chain and place it on here like diagonally, like here and then another diagonal like down here. Let's try that. Okay. Look how cute. I kind of made it like a little wavy on purpose. I'm gonna probably put like a couple of these around the cat. Just some small ones. And these are from Timu. Like look how pretty this color is. It is perfect for this set. Like look at that. Okay, I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna like sporadically put these little rhinestones on this set because I think they're really pretty. For this one here, the index, I think I'm gonna put this frame right there. And then I'm gonna float some more top coat over it. So I found this color and it's called Spiced Up. This is just a random color I had in my collection. I'm not sure if it's still on the website, but I think I'm gonna fill in the frame with this. Make it kind of like a little jewel. Let's see, try not to get too much. I'm gonna fill it. Like that. Um, I think for this next one, Maybe I can make a heart between this one and the next one. Okay, let's try a heart. Go ahead and put some top coat. Let's cut here. Better to have extra than not enough. I'm debating what I want to put inside the heart, if I just want to keep it like that. 
or if I want to throw in some gravel or if I just want to go ahead and put rhinestones in there like a bunch of them maybe I could do a whole rhinestone heart that could be cool let's see if I just fill this entire thing up with rhinestones just gonna do random sizes Okay, there we go. We have our bedazzled hearts. And for this one, I think I'm just gonna put these flowers. found this black little tiny black kitty so I think she's gonna go on the pinky I'm thinking put her like right at the bottom and do I want to put this on top here that could be kind of cute right Okay, you guys, my phone died, so I had to charge it, but I finished my nails. All I did off camera was just add rhinestones randomly around here, and I think that's all I missed. So this is the final look. I'm actually really happy with the way it came out. These rhinestones, I'm obsessed with this color. I need to go pick some more up. Um, I think it came out really good after all. The colors look so good together. I need to, um, I'm not a fan of that top coat, uh, the Joss Love one too much, at least with this application, it came out kind of weird. Um, I haven't had any issues with it before in the past. Shadows is such a great color. It always feels so good when it ends up coming out really nicely at the end. So thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me as always. I hope you guys like this nail set. Hope you guys like this video. Thank you again so much, Madam Glam. I love you guys so, so much. And um, yeah, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye.